Hi, my name's Angela Barton and this is my book, Our Let's Story, published by Chocolates Ruby Fiction. I found five minutes peace and quiet at my mum's house, so I hope to be able to tell you a little bit about my novel. Although the characters in my novel are fictional, what happened is based on a true event in France in World War II. On the 10th of June 1944, 200 German soldiers drove into Oridor. By the end of the day, it had been looted, burnt, brutalised and 642 of its inhabitants had been murdered. I've walked the streets myself for research. I've seen the crumbling buildings, the schools, the houses, the GP surgery, the cafes, the hotels. I was inspired to write the book but I wanted to tell it from a survivor's point of view. I wanted there to be hope. I had to choose my protagonist carefully. She had to be a, an ordinary girl from a hard-working farming family. I was going to place huge obstacles in her way, uh, give her tough choices to make. So she needed the room to, to grow and face these challenges. I didn't want to be too cruel, so I've given her a love interest, Saul Epstein. He's a Jewish medical student, but the Nazis have prevented him from continuing his training. So he moved south, looking for work, looking to stay alive, and he found it as a farmhand on Arlette Blazer's father's farm. Um, although it's set in a very dark period of history, I've also given a lot of hope, um, a lot of strength. There's family bonds, there's love. So there's a, a strong story apart from the brutality behind it. Charles de Gaulle declared that Oridor should remain as it had been left that day, as a reminder of man's inhumanity to man. Um, and that's how it's found today, frozen in time. Who knows if Oridor will be surviving in another 75 years time, but I hope that in some small way, this book will help keep the memory alive. If you'd like to look at photographs before and after of Oridor, please visit my website at angelabarton.net. Thank you.